And I'm Avery Davidson. Thank you for joining us for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, the only TV show bringing Louisiana farmers and consumers together every week. This winter, we actually, factually experienced a winter. What a crazy thought here in Louisiana. According to LSU Ag Center Extension climatologist Jay Grimes, this winter's December and January are, were on average 10 degrees cooler than last winter, but there have definitely been snaps that are blowing that average out of the icy water. I know that because of my electric bill for one. <laughs> but we showed you in December how sugarcane was being harvested in the snow and the many snow day pictures from across the state. However, Carl Wigger shows us the less glamorous side of this cold winter that farmers in the South Louisiana are seeing today. Derek Luckett is plowing up some ground on his farm in Pride, Louisiana, getting it ready to row up and plant a few more crops. He's keeping busy to keep his mind off of the terrible growing weather his crops have faced this winter. Um, it's set everything back you know, tremendously, we're two months behind of where we should be. You know, you ought to see pretty much a lot of the field planted, a lot of stuff coming up. We should be picking strawberries right now. Last year at this time, we were cutting asparagus. Uh, I mean, the cold weather has really slowed everything down. According to LSU State climatologist Jay Grimes, last month's weather has been perfectly wrong for Louisiana farmers just like Derek. We're designed to handle light freezes, but having two events where you had back-to-back -back days at 25 or below, that's pretty uncommon. And then to space them over a period of three weeks, boy, whether it's berry farmers or crawl fishermen, that is a big, big deal. We had planted about 80% of the spring crop, um, and we had a lot of transplants, you know, ready to plant, and pretty much when that you know, cold weather came through, it just burned everything to the ground. We had turnips and beets, kohlrabi, some other stuff in the field that were, you know, would have been ready to, to harvest. Um, now, we're over, you know, over the next month, we would have been harvesting and, you know, it froze them on top of the ground, burned all the vegetation off. I mean, it, it just, we're gonna have to plow it all under. Here's what those replanted crops look like today. All Derek, Casey, and these mustard greens need now is some tolerable weather. I don't need it to get 13 degrees again. Um, you know, a minimal amount of rain. I need the weather to stay 50 to 65 degrees. You know, just consistency. That consistency in the weather would allow the Luckets to offer their CSA customers that same consistency in their weekly box of fresh produce. I'm hoping we can start the CSA somewhere around the 10th of March, um, you know, give or take, depending on how the weather goes from here on out. But, uh, you know, we should have enough variety. We should be picking strawberries and, you know, a few other winter vegetables. And, you know, it'll be kind of slow when it starts, but then it should progressively pick up. Now, in the past few years, Derek and Casey have endured floods and drought, freezes and scorching summers. So when I asked Derek why he sticks with it, his answer was one that I've heard before. I'm just waiting on that perfect year. And that optimism is what will drive Luckett Farms into the future. I didn't love to do it or just have in my mind like that, you know, perfect year. Um, I would have given up a long time ago. You have to be an optimist to be a farmer, definitely. I'm Carl Wiggers for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. Now, if you live in the Baton Rouge area and would like to sign up for the Luckett Farm CSA, head on over to our website at twilighttv.org. Yep, it's really cheap.